let us now move on to the discussion of the fifth case affix panchami vibhakti in order to do that we have to first define this uh, sanya called apadanam and the sutram here is 1424 dhruvam paaye padanam vritti says apayo vishleshas tasmin sadhye yad dhruvam avadhi bhutan karakam tad padanam syat padacheda is apayah vishlesha tasmin sadhye yad dhruvam avadhi bhutam karakam tat padanam syat vritti is first telling us what is the meaning of apayah as used in this sutram apayah has a few meanings one meaning is to move away or to depart to go away another meaning is to disappear to vanish another meaning is to die or perish the meaning in this sutra is vishlesha meaning detachment moving away separation that is the meaning of apayah in this sutra so vritti says apayah vishlesha tasmin sadhye when that is to be accomplished when that is to be effected yad dhruvam that which is fixed the vritti says dhruvam as used in this sutra is avadhi bhutam of course we know dhruvam means sthiram which is steady here it means avadhi bhutam avadhi is a limit or a boundary so that which is the limiting point and since you're talking about a movement away limiting point here means the starting point from which there is detachment that karakam meaning a participant in the action gets the designation apadanam so the meaning here is when detachment moving away is to be denoted that karakam participant in the action which serves as a limiting starting point uninfluenced by the detachment that is the dhruvam that which is steady steady in the sense that it is not influenced by the detachment that gets the designation apadanam that from which detachment takes place this concept will become clear as we take a couple of examples the first example is gramadayati gramat ayati someone comes from the village gramo the pradipadikam denoting the village gets the designation apadanam by this sutram 1424 dhruvam apaye padanam let us check all the conditions here the first thing to note is that there is a movement away the detachment somebody is moving away from the village so that condition is satisfied second condition is that the village grama is the limiting starting point from which detachment is taking place and the village is not affected not influenced by the detachment it is only the starting point limiting point from which detachment takes place but it is not influenced by the detachment a subtle question here is that we are saying that the village is not influenced by the detachment but it is still a karakam now how is that how is it a participant in the action but it is not influenced by the movement away remember that even though the word karaka as derived is karoti ti karakam one who does is a karakam but karakam is not synonymous with karta the way that panini has defined these terms in grammar is that a karta is only one type of karakam the doer of the action is certainly a participant in the action but he is not the only participant here we have someone coming from the village whoever that someone is is the doer of the action of coming and of course he has the karaka sanya he is the karta but the village is also a participant because the village is a starting point the limiting point from which the action of departing is taking place so even though the village is not departing it is still a karakam it is a participant in the action it is not the doer of the action 
where it's a participant in the action. This can be a bit of confusing point, that's why I want to just make sure we understand that the village is not influenced by the action of moving away. But to the extent that the village is a limiting starting point from which the departure is taking place, the village is a car come in the broader sense of being a participant in the action. So the apadanam is a car come, even though it is dhruvam, it is not influenced by the departure. Let us take a second interesting example. Dhavato Shvat Patati. Someone falls from a running horse. Ashva meaning horse gets a designation Padanam by the Sutra 1424 because even though the horse is running, it is uninfluenced, it is not affected by the detachment, the action of falling. The falling is not affecting the horse. The horse is running. It is the doer of a separate action of running, but it is unaffected by the action of falling. It is still dhruvam. As far as the action of falling is concerned, the detachment action, the horse is dhruvam. It is the starting limiting point from which falling takes place. It is uninfluenced by the falling. The fact that the horse is running, a separate action, does not stop it from taking the designation apadanam. So when we say dhruvam, it doesn't mean in an absolute sense like fixed point like that. All it means that it is uninfluenced by the detachment. That's the critical point here. And in both these examples, once we get the apadana sanya, then by the next sutra which we are going to take, 2.3.28, apadane panchami. To denote the apadanam, we use the fifth case affix to get the form gramat and ashvat. So 2.3.28 is our next sutra. Before going there, let us look at this one comment which says, Karakam kim, why do we need the condition karakam, which of course is the adhikara starting from 1423 down to 1455. What is the importance of karakam? Because consider the sentence rukshasya paranam patati, a leaf of the tree falls. Here the speaker is not expressing the tree as that from which falling is taking place. The tree has absolutely no connection with the action of falling. It is not the limit or the starting point of the falling as expressed in the sentence. All that the speaker is saying is that the leaf of the tree falls. The tree does not connect with the action at all. It connects only with the leaf. Hence the tree vrikshaha in this sentence is not a karkam. It has absolutely no connection with the action. The speaker is not saying that the leaf is falling from the tree. All he's saying is a leaf of the tree is falling. So since vriksha is not participating in the action at all in any sense, therefore it does not get the padana sanya.